Hi everyone, I'm Laura. I'm the CEO of VMV Hypoallergenics. We're here to save the world's skin by making the safest, most proven effective care on the planet. How we do the safest is basically allergen emission. We look at the published studies by independent sources on thousands and thousands of patch tests and we look at the top contact allergens and basically omit them. And we also have a validated hypoallergenic rating system, which is sort of like an SPF in the sense that it gives you a grade for how hypoallergenic a product is by showing you how many allergens are not in a formulation. So like an SPF, it's sort of like an easy grade to follow. You can see it on this product. It says validated hypoallergenic, pH minus 109, over 109, that means without all 109 uh, top contact allergens. If this product were to contain some allergens, because it's highly unlikely you'd be allergic to all 109 contact allergens, then the VH number might show something like VH minus 106 or 108, and then there would be an asterisk. And when you went to the ingredients list on the product, you would see an, the corresponding asterisk and the allergens uh, underlined. So then if the included allergens were not allergens that you patch tested positive for, you should be able to use it. The VH rating system was invented by my mother, who's our founding uh, dermatologist and dermatopathologist back in the 80s. And it's, um, there's a study on it published in one of the leading contact dermatitis journals that shows less than 0.1% reported reactions in over 30 years because of using this system. So very safe. And in terms of efficacy, we publish our clinical studies. My mother herself has over 200. She's a big researcher and 80 or more of those are related to VMV hypoallergenics products or the research that goes into the making of those products. Today, I'll be giving you the skinny on our red better line, which is for redness, rosacea, inflamed skin, uh, red skin. It's called red better angry skin calming system and that's what it does. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content as it comes up. Please do share if you find this helpful to someone you know, and definitely ask questions. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like us to cover. The line consists of, and I'll get into these individually later, the line is simple. And it's got a few products only because this is key to hypoallergenicity to begin with, but certainly more so for very sensitive or hyperreactive skin conditions. So we have a cleanser, deeply soothing cleansing cream, the daily calming moisturizer, calm the heck down balm, and spot corrector. Because rosacea is an interesting condition in that it's usually very, very dry, but also sometimes has acne or papules uh, bumps associated with it. In addition, I will be touching briefly on other support products like the Big Brave Boo Boo Balm and Know It Oil, and certainly our green concealer, sun and light screen, and our BB BB cream, but I'll get into those one by one later. When we were researching rosacea, redness, sort of inflammatory skin conditions, one of the more interesting things that we found was there are several possible causes, including more cathelicidins, which are pro-inflammatory. There's too much demodex, which is a mite that lives happily in our skins, but can get overly excited. And at one point, it was believed to be related to Helicobacter pylori, which is another bacteria. As well, what we noticed is some of the formulations in the market that were available for rosacea and hyperreactive skin relied a lot on antioxidants, which made sense, but also allergens. So antioxidants that were allergens or uh, formulations that had fragrance and other allergens. And for such a reactive skin condition, we wanted to make sure we could offer something that really did not have top contact allergens, that was very anti-inflammatory. So Key ingredients in this line are potassium azaloyl diglycinate, which is related to azelaic acid, to help 
as an anti-cathelicidin as well as virgin coconut oil to help again as an anti-inflammatory to provide a certain level of barrier repair and to help soothe the skin and also monolaurin which is a broad spectrum antimicrobial and an anti-inflammatory so all those three things work wonderfully in this line and we have other antioxidants but all allergen free but the main purpose of this line is really calm calm cool soothing nothing to stress the skin nothing to excite the skin everything to keep it calm in terms of other things that you can do to help calm your inflammatory skin condition i have an inflammatory condition that also affects my skin which also has inflammatory conditions some of the things i do for example i make sure to prioritize anti-inflammatory practices like getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night we meditate every day i do my daily workout which is actually pro-inflammatory but it's a good balance it's important to have that and eating almost like the mediterranean diet lots of fresh fruits and veggies low on the red meat lots of healthy grains and nuts and oils specifically virgin coconut oil and we have an interesting uh, clinical study actually on an anti-inflammatory diet using virgin coconut oil with psoriasis patients it's slightly different but that's sort of our basic guide at home other things that can trigger rosacea temperature it gets very hot uh, rage, intense emotions, shame, and spicy foods. So again, it, it's very linked to inflammation stress all around. So the more that you can bring that down, the better. first product in the line is the Red Better Deeply Soothing Cleansing Cream and that's exactly what it is. Definitely for the skin condition you do not want to use a bar soap on the face. The skin as it is is naturally more acidic than basic and because of the way they're made, made bar soaps particularly harder bar soaps tend to have a pH level that's too high for skin to begin with certainly for skin that's already either barrier impaired or hypersensitive or hyperreactive or gets stressed very easily or inflammatory you want a cream cleanser that is allergen free so no fragrance no masking fragrance no parabens no um, other preservatives no dyes really sort of about as plain as you can make it and very soothing and creamy and moisturizing this puppy does contain all the good stuff monolaurin organic virgin coconut oil the same clinically published organic virgin coconut oil that we use uh, it has lots of antioxidants it does not have sls or sles sls and sles are not allergens they can be irritate they can be irritants depending on the concentration this doesn't have that either and it doesn't have allergen surfactants as well so it doesn't have coca midopropyl betaine cocomidea and for those things it's not the coca part that's a problem it's the amidoamine so that string is a top allergen and this doesn't have any of that no parabens no preservatives no fragrance no masking fragrance um, no phthalates very very gentle very creamy very yummy very calming and soothing you would use this once or twice a day after working out don't over cleanse the skin especially if you have an inflammatory skin condition but this is a lovely daily cleanser Next in the line is the Red Better Daily Calming Moisturizer. This contains the anti-cathelicidin we talked about earlier, the potassium azaloyl diglycinate, the clinically published organic virgin coconut oil, antioxidants, monolaurin. Monolaurin's wonderful for that antimicrobial effect. 
uh, virgin coconut oil gives you that barrier care. It's like a palisade on the skin, a little bit of barrier repair, a little bit of occlusivity to protect the skin's barrier. It's also an anti-inflammatory. It also has antimicrobial benefits. Wonderful, very calming, very soothing, very gentle daily moisturizer for redness and inflammatory skin conditions. Red Better Calm the Heck Down Balm does exactly what it says. Calms your skin the heck down. So this is a great product to use right about when you feel a flare coming before you reach for a steroid. Wonderful option. It's also a great option for when you have itchy rashes, itchy insect bites, and to bring down the redness from sunburn wonderful option when we are dealing with burns here at home we'll actually put this on first and then boo boo bomb one thing about steroids that's important to mention steroids are wonderful miraculous really rather dramatic drugs but there has been a tendency and we've seen it kind of on the rise to overuse steroids a little bit like we've had the issue about the overuse or improper use of antibiotics topical steroids have seen an increase in over prescription and, and maybe overuse is the correct term. When a topical steroid is necessary, it is necessary and it is important and wonderful and really, again, rather dramatic and really, really important in sort of emergency situations or to bring down a flare super quickly. The problem is when people start to self-prescribe, self-medicate, or because they had such a dramatic effect the first time they use a steroid, they just reach for it any old time willy-nilly. A few things there. Number one, the steroid does not deal with the underlying problem. So whatever it is that's causing the inflammation to flare is not being dealt with. And for that, we highly recommend getting a patch test to see what specifically might be triggering your flare so you can finally avoid them. Definitely practicing power prevention like a pro from head to toe to make sure you're not using your allergens in everything from your hair care your toothpaste everything um, so get a patch test for sure that can be really really helpful the third thing to know about topical steroids they're really not meant for long-term use a week maybe depending on what your doctor is prescribing but definitely not day to day to day to day forever several several health problems happen here. One is tachyphylaxis, which is a decreasing efficacy the more you use it. So you end up using more and more and more of it. Then you have risks like steroid acne. You have thinning of the skin, which is really, really a problem. And because topical steroids can penetrate the dermis, there are other more serious health concerns as well, uh, adrenal problems. And Lastly, to get off of steroids can be really difficult. You can have rebound effects. And we've seen, for example, doctors we work with have to hospitalize people to help get them off of steroids. The fantastic news is once you're off of steroids, even with just proper prevention alone, the results can be really dramatic. So when you see a flare starting early, this is a great option to reach for. And a complement to that is the Big Brave Boo Boo Bomb. This would add this is sort of to lessen more redness, stinging, itching, and this would be to add more occlusion to the lesion, to add more occlusive protection and to help with healing. But again, if your doctor prescribes a topical steroid, do use it. Just remember, don't self-medicate and don't overuse it. You shouldn't be relying on the steroid for clarity. You should be relying on your patch test results, proper prevention, and soothing anti-inflammatory care.
the next product in the line is the Red Better Spot Corrector. The interesting thing about rosacea in particular is it's a very dry skin condition, but it can develop acne and papules and pustules and other kinds of bumps. Certainly what we've seen as well in the era of maskne is that demodex mites can become more of a factor because of the unique environment under a mask. They can kind of go a little bonkers um, and they become an issue as well. The Red Better Spot Corrector is great because it's a very targeted treatment for spots, for bigger spots, bigger pimples. It has uh, potassium azaloid diglycinate, it has salicylic acid, it has sulfur um, and silicones to help prevent scarring, but it's also far less drying than a lot of spot treatments. And because it's allergen free, some spot treatments, the active is actually an allergen, a top contact allergen. Some topical antibiotics are top contact allergens. Certainly some very aggressive spot correctors are irritants. This is far less dry. It's a great option for sensitive skin that also has acne. Another thing I want to talk about here very quickly is our organic clinically published virgin coconut oil because this is another skin condition that can benefit from layering. Remember for some of these skin conditions, inflammatory skin conditions, barrier repair can be very important. So what we would suggest for example is to layer the Red Better Moisturizer then the virgin coconut oil every day and then use the flare-up balm and boo-boo balm for you know flare prevention to help bring down skin that start you notice it's starting to get really angry and you need to calm it the heck down Another product I want to mention, and it goes further to this layering thing. We have a wonderful concealer that's a big favorite, and it also contains virgin coconut oil. It also contains monolaurin. It is the Skin the Bluff Concealer, and this one is green, and it is, it's called Red Alert, and it is wonderful at uh, counterbalancing redness. The other thing about this is it's a great way to layer before putting on your sun and light screen and then say your foundation and powder. Again, before you put anything, having the green to cancel out some of that redness is a great idea. Following with Armada Post Procedure Barrier Care, again is also subtly tinted green. None of these things use dyes. This is iron oxides. Again, allergen free, irritant free. And this is a purely physical mineral sun and light screen. And it's thick on purpose because it doubles as a physical barrier against irritants, things that can be stressors for the skin. And it is tested for both outdoor and indoor light, including visible light, like from your gadgets, blue light. Let's say you do your moisturizer, your virgin coconut oil, right? Your Armada sun and light screen and then your Skin the Bluff in Red Alert. Then you could end with your VMV foundation. I tend to like to recommend for this condition the Skin Tangible 
BB BB cream, which is like BB cream, but better. Um, it is our skin loving non makeup. It really is more like skincare with a little bit of tint. And the tint is so subtle. It actually works on all skin tones. Um, and it does have a certain level of protection there. It is very subtle. It's just really, a, I don't know what you put on, but you look a little glowier. <laughs> it's a wonderful product. And it adds to that layering thing that we like so much for sun and light protection and certainly for inflammatory skin conditions. I mentioned prevention earlier, so that applies to everything. And we would suggest our gentlest, gentlest hair and body wash, which is Clark Wash. No SLS or SLES, which again are not allergens, but they can be irritants in higher concentrations, which we don't use anyway. But this doesn't have allergenic surfactants or irritating surfactants, also fragrance-free, masking fragrance-free, uh, paraben and preservative-free and phthalate-free, just all the good stuff. Definitely a good idea for hair and body cleansing. And this is the Essence Skin Saving Conditioner that would go with this. So again, it would be the Red Better Daily Soothing Cleansing Cream, the Daily Calming Moisturizer, the Calm the Heck Down Bomb for flares that are bubbling, broiling, burgeoning, spot corrector as you need it, um, and then sort of add-ons to help with occlusive barrier repair and uh, daily moisturization to keep the inflammation down and, and up the antimicrobial care would be the Big Brave Boo Boo Balm and Know What Oil or Oils Well and Armada Post Procedure. Skin Tangible is a great idea to add to that and our green concealer from Skin the Bluff. So that's a skinny on the Red Better line. I hope you found that helpful. Please definitely let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like us to cover ask us questions that maybe we didn't get to here. We love answering questions. You can reach us at vmvhypoallergenics.com. You can drop us a private message on Facebook, DM us on Instagram, or you can ask us a question on YouTube. Make sure to share this with a friend if you think it might be helpful for them, or certainly with your doctor if your skin condition is being managed. If you need a patch test, you can drop us a private message. If you're in the United States, you can go to contactderm.org and search for patch testing doctors in your area. Once you have your patch test results, you can share them with us and we can help customize recommendations for you based specifically on your allergens and possible cross-reactants. Thank you very much. Until next time.